TV is Kenny Thomas, and he has written this book, Get It On, What It Means to Lead the Way, a U.S. Army Rangers veteran of Black Hawk Down Mission. Kenny Thomas, tell us about your experience with your connection with Black Hawk Down. Well, I was part of the 75th Ranger Regiment, and we were part of the guys that went in on that mission. It was initially a raid. 94? 93. It was close, though. Uh, it was initially a raid, and then everything changed when the first helicopter got shot down, and just like that, the course of our lives changed. And so what I get from that is anybody that's going to make it out of something where others didn't, you're going to spend the rest of your life thanking the people that were on your left and your right that day, because I know by the grace of God that's the only reason I'm still here. So you'll use every opportunity you can to tell their stories, and whether I do it through music or in a book, I, I'm going to tell their story. Kenny Thomas, walk us through that day. Dude, there's been documentaries done on that thing. We'd be here for hours, but I can tell you what... Your experience. My experience was... We went, came in on the mission, and everybody thought it was going to be a normal, normal thing. It was a daylight raid. It was a little bit risky. What we didn't know is that we would lose 18 guys and 78 were wounded. And of the 130 of us that went in, if you do the math, a ton of us got wounded, a ton of us got hit, and I'm telling you those numbers would have been significantly higher had it not been for the level of the planning and the training, but mostly the leadership at every level. And I mean from David Floyd, who was the one private who saves everybody, all the way up to General Garrison, but it was leadership at every level that saved us, and we know that. And by the time the morning rolls around, if you know the story, we were there to help the pilot. We waited for the pilot so we'd get his body out of the wreckage. We didn't have the equipment, and in the morning, the Pakistanis came, the Malaysians came, the 10th Mountain came, cooks put on body armor. And then a single one of those guys went, it's not my job, I, I'm not, they all came in, they volunteered. And in the morning we put the wounded guys on the trucks, trucks drive away, and the rest of us ran out. And so when you make it, there again, you make it out, you're going to spend your life thanking those folks. And it's, a, it's an extraordinary story. But as good as you've heard the story, as many times nobody can tell it about David Floyd and Eric Saransky and DeJesus and Romalia. Sergeant Watson, not the way that I can, because those were my guys. When did you leave the Rangers? I got out of the military at the end of the 90s and picked up the guitar and started doing the music full time, and that's where I'm at. This whole, this whole book thing is a new world for me. It's a, it's Why are you writing this now in 2011? It's a good question. I get a chance to tell that story to a ton of people, and the more people that you can reach, I feel like the more folks, the more chance you have to make a difference with the message of leadership. And I started doing so many events, and I was like, why haven't you written this story down? And so I uh, actually was Ollie North, I was like, hey, you really need to write this. And we wrote it, and then it, it was as simple as somebody saying yes. And when, when B&H Publishing was like, we'd love to put it out, you went, really? And it was that simple. And then now all of a sudden you have this book that's, when we're on TV, we're in, we're in Walmart. Come on now, when a book's in Walmart, you know something's happening. So it's, it's, a, it's, been, a, it's been a heck of a ride. What is this about music and the guitar? I work in Nashville. I do country music. So we, got a, we have a whole audience on that side of the world. So it's kind of a neat thing. You have these fan funnels. You have all these fans that are coming in for music. And now you've got these new people that you're meeting in events like this that are coming in for the book. And they're all coming to Kenny Thomas. And they're all starting to figure out what the message is, which is set an example. Lead the way. You're extraordinary. You can do amazing things if, if you're willing to shoulder that burden. What, who do you play with in country music? Anybody? Name it. We've opened up. The only people that I have not opened up for yet is Faith Hill and, and Tim McGraw. So if they're watching, you guys need to give me a slot. But... We've been out on the road with everybody. As the opening act, man, you, you get to see everybody. It's been doing it for a while now. Kenny Thomas, is it well known that you were an Army Ranger in your new career? It is. Folks know what I did. The, uh, and it affects the music every now and then. I, I feel like you have to entertain folks, especially on stage. And then when you write a story, that's why people will, that's how you get people. That's how you captivate them. You tell them a story. But at the end of it all, whether it's a guitar or whether it's a microphone or whether it's a book, you better have something to say. And obviously what I have to say is lead the way. Kenny Thomas is the author of this book, Get It On, What It Means to Lead the Way. U.S. Army Rangers veteran of Black Hawk Down talks about his experiences.